Yo, what's going on fellas? It's Sweat. Today, I'm going to be bringing you guys a guide on how you can hit 600 power the fastest way possible. Uh, one other thing I'd like to mention, if you guys are watching this video, I'll be live on Twitch at this very moment, getting ready for the launch of Forsaken, getting ready to grind for a lot of hours, boys. So if you guys want to watch me play live, watch some insane gameplay, make sure you guys check out the link to my Twitch stream down in the description. Let's get right into the video, boys! Now that the Forsaken expansion is upon us, we have a huge, huge gap to fill in power. As you can see, most Guardians by this time are around the 400 light range, and with the Forsaken expansion, you guys are going to be able to reach 600 power. Before you start your grind to 600 power, there's one thing you're going to have to do first. You're going to have to level up your Guardian from a level 30 base to level 50. There are a few ways you can go about this by just casual play or other sorts of stuff, but if you guys happen to watch my Forsaken Prep video, the most important thing I think that will give you guys a head start and save you a little bit of time is bounties. As you guys can see on my Hunter here, which is just one of my three characters filled with bounties, I have over 30 completed bounties, but I have not turned them in. The reason I haven't turned these bounties in is because, like I said, as soon as Forsaken drops, we're going to have to hit that base level 50 before we can start chasing a high power level. If you've saved some of these bounties, or even if you do them when Forsaken drops, these bounties will give you a little extra XP, which will be a nice boost to save you a little bit of time in trying to hit level 50 as fast as possible. And wherever you can save time leveling up, the faster you can get to getting your power up higher and that kind of stuff. One other thing that I recommend you guys wear at all times is a ghost shell that gives you 10% bonus XP from all sources. The Trials of Osiris shell from this season actually dropped it. If you guys have one of those, make sure you guys keep it. I know there is another ghost shell that does it. I don't know what the name of it is off the top of my head. Feel free to leave it down in the comments below. Anyways, yeah, try to keep this ghost shell on at all times when you guys are getting to that level 50 soft cap. A, a nice 10% boost always helps. One other thing that you guys can do to gain an extra 10% on top of the 10% from the Ghost Shell is Fire Team Medallions. These can be purchased from Eververse for 50 Bright Dust apiece. These are great. You should stack up on these. They last four hours and work for your entire Fire Team. So if you guys have both the Ghost Shell and the Fire Team Medallions stacked, then you turn in your bounties, you'll be getting even more XP. But obviously that's not going to fill you all the way up to level 50. The thing that I'd recommend you guys do as soon as you turn in all your bounties is to do public events. I prefer to do mine on Earth because there's always one active. If you guys are doing these in a fire team, you can melt these pretty quickly and this is going to be the best bang for your buck XP wise. When you're completing these public events, make sure you guys do turn them heroic because you will be getting more XP when you turn them heroic and finish them. Once you've completed reaching level 50, you're over the first big obstacle. The next thing on the list is completing the soft cap. Although we don't know how the soft cap is going to work quite yet, I'm assuming it's going to work similarly to the other expansions. Typically what happens is when you complete the story for the new expansion or DLC, it's going to give you a free light stat in that it wants you to be a certain level, so it's going to give you some free gear up to however high it wants you to go. From that certain point, you're going to have to go upon your own will to complete strikes, crucible, that kind of stuff to reach the soft cap. Usually the soft cap is set at a certain level. Like I said, we don't know what it's going to be for Forsaken yet, but if I had to take a guess, I think it's going to be around the 540 power range. One very important thing is that your drops are going to be calculated based off your highest possible power. So you don't necessarily have to have your highest items equipped on your character, but as long as it's in your inventory, it's good. So make sure you guys are keeping your inventory clear uh, so you have enough space to hold the new items that you get. Another friend that will help you guys hit the soft cap pretty easily is Vanguard tokens, Crucible tokens, and weapon parts. These can be redeemed to their respective vendors for engrams that can help you boost a piece of armor or a gun that you're lacking in light on, or maybe even increase your highest one. It depends on what light you are. The one thing you want to make sure you do not do, and I repeat, do not do this, do not turn in any of your powerful engrams until you have reached the soft cap. The big reason you do not want to pick up the powerful engrams before you hit the soft cap is that as soon as you reach the soft cap, sorry for saying that so much, uh, the only thing that's going to allow you to progress in level is those powerful drops. The other thing that would help you actually is raid drops, but I don't really count those as powerful drops, and the raid won't be out for 10 days, 
until 10 days after launch. Anyways, these powerful drops can be found very easily with these yellow little markers in your map inventory. As you can see, you hover over the activity and I'll show you what you have to do to complete it. Uh, the second one can be found by going into the top left into your milestones where most of them used to sit. The other exciting news is that Destiny 2 is switching from a weekly reset to a bi-weekly reset, meaning that we are going to get two resets each week, meaning that we're going to get even more powerful drops each week. So every time there is a reset, your powerful uh, drops will reset so you can claim them again as long as you do the requirements, uh, therefore allowing you to get a higher level a lot faster. One thing you want to keep in mind in this higher light level scenario is that RNG plays a huge factor into how fast you're actually able to level up in the higher levels. Going back to the Vanguard and Crucible tokens and the weapon parts, this is going to help you a ton the higher you go up because if you're lacking in one armor spot and the rest of your armor is very high, you can go turn in tokens and try and fill in that spot with a little more light to maybe increase your light level by one or two. It depends how much you're lacking. Uh, these are definitely going to be crucial if you guys are looking to level up as fast as possible before the raid drops. Also with the raid set, gotta drop another plug boys. Uh, make sure you guys are followed to the Twitch. If you guys aren't, the link will be in the description. Myself and Clan Redeem will be in the raid on launch, trying to get that first completion. It's gonna be an insane raid, insane day. So make sure you guys are subscribed here if you wanna uh, see the raid when we complete it. I'll make sure to upload it, as well as check out the Twitch stream if you can, watch it live. It's going to be super hype. The new Last Wish Raid is obviously going to be a fantastic place to put the icing on the cake on your light. It's going to be a bunch of free light levels as long as you guys are able to complete most of the encounters. You're going to be getting a lot and a lot of loot drops. As long as you aren't getting duplicates, this should fling your light level up uh, pretty far actually. The last thing you guys are going to want for powerful drops is something that you can't really control is exotics. Exotics usually give you a light boost, maybe not as much as powerful engrams, but they definitely do help and are very, very nice when you get them. But obviously those are out of your control, so don't rely on that happening. The one other thing I'd like to mention about that is do not use three of coins because there has been testing done and those do not work. So don't even waste your legendary shards. That's really about it. Just to recap. Uh, the first thing you guys are going to want to do as soon as Forsaken drops is make sure you got that plus 20% XP boost, 10% from your Ghost, and 10% from the Fireteam Medallion. And then go on your way, turn in bounties if you have them, grab them and complete them if you haven't completed any, and then make your way into public events. Once you've completed leveling your character to level 50, then you're going to complete the Forsaken story making sure that you do not turn in any powerful engrams along the way that way when you finish the story you're going to finish hitting the soft cap whatever that may be that way when you do hit the soft cap and are stuck and can't go anywhere those powerful drops are going to be able to help you out turning them in one by one and just balancing out your gear using vanguard tokens crucible tokens and weapon parts the only other things that will be able to help you besides those powerful drops are going to be your raid drops, but the raid doesn't drop until 10 days after the DLC is released. It's going to be September 14th, 10 a.m. Pacific, and exotic drops, but you can't rely on those. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching this video if you made it to the end. I'm really looking forward to the future of stuff in Forsaken. We're almost at 25,000 subscribers, which is absolutely effing insane. Primeval. Massive shout out to Build everybody who's joined up. the family Hostile thus far. I am, I, I honestly, I don't, I'm, I'm speechless, man. Like, I, seriously, thank you guys so much for everything that you guys have given me. I really do appreciate you guys. I'm going to be trying to grind as much content as I can for you guys, trying to be the, the first to maybe complete stuff. I'm um, just bringing you guys a lot of unique content. That That is my main goal. Um, I'm back in school now, so I'm going to be very busy, but I'm going to try my hardest to keep you guys updated with all the latest info, that kind of stuff, strategy guides, how to complete this, that. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching, boys, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.